Good morning, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. This is day 20 of the 31 days of witchcraft. This is a set of prompts that were created by the beautiful Heather Carter. I will have a link to her channel down below. Make sure you go check it out and subscribe to her. She is amazing and I love her content. I, what is today's prompt even? I've been doing these in the morning. <laughs> if you've just stumbled into this video, I've been doing these in the morning. And this was a didn't want to get out of bed, throw on a super cozy t-shirt, don't care kind of morning. Um, and the question is kind of semi-appropriate for my mood because it's what do you do when you're in a witchy funk? Um, I've had a lot of funks with my spiritual path or with tarot or with everything over the years. I think it's normal to sort of cycle in and out of how active you are in a practice. I think that's a really common experience. And I don't think it's anything to feel like you need to immediately necessarily fix. With that said, I've definitely gone through periods where I felt disconnected from my spiritual path or from my spiritual life. And that can feel a little bit like I literally just had a mental picture of like the astronaut that's like outside the spaceship on his little tether, but like he's really far away. It can kind of feel like that, I guess, in a way. You're still technically, you're never not connected, but it can feel almost disassociative in a weird way for me. Like when I'm, when I'm in a funk like that, I feel like I can't access my deeper wisdom. I feel like I can't access what I really think and feel about things. So it's not... I would say that when I'm in a witchy funk, I'm also in a funk where I'm just feeling out of touch. Typically, what will bring me back to myself when I'm in that space is writing. Um, it's the first thing I think of to do. It's also the last thing I tend to do when I'm in a funk. Um, when I'm going through stuff, that's when I need to write the most. Um, and when I say write, I mean like journaling. And yet, for some reason, when I'm in a funk, that's when I'm least likely to write. Um, it's this really counterintuitive thing where it's kind of like with self-care. We often neglect our self-care the quickest when we need it the most because we're so pulled away from ourselves. And writing is a practice that brings me back to myself, which is a really important thing for me to remember. Um, I'm all over the place this morning because I'm so tired I'm having one of those kind of days, but... In general, that's what I do to bring me, me back to myself. And typically, when I bring myself, when I bring me back to myself, when I pull those sort of cords back to me, I'm usually able to get my footing again and then find a way through. Another thing that I'm really, really grateful for besides, and that's kind of like when you're in the really deep, like can't connect, can't feel motivated to do that kind of stuff. That's what I do in those situations. When I can finally get my head together and start writing, usually things start to even out. When... Another thing, though, that I wanted to mention, though, is when when I'm feeling disconnected from my witchy practice, one of the things that, and this is, I can't get my words out in a straight line, so let me just try this again. Um, when, one thing that I'm grateful for, okay, let's just start here. One thing I'm grateful for lately is that my practice has shifted from being something that's fairly formalized, where, like, I hold myself to a particular schedule of, okay, I'm going to do rituals at these times, and I'm going to do these activities in these situations. It's much more organic. And one of the things that's allowed me to really do is to start to insert more magical and spiritual practices throughout my regular daily activities. And the benefit of that is that when I'm in a witchy funk, when I'm feeling less inclined to do those bigger workings, those bigger rituals, I have all these smaller things that I can lean into to stay connected to my path or to stay feeling like I'm in that space. And that's been really, really helpful to me. So I would say now when I experience those like funks or those, those bits of disconnection, I just lean more heavily into those daily rituals, those little things. It can be as simple as an intention set while you're in the shower and you're thinking about what is the water rinsing away from me right now? Or what is it? What am I pulling down um, from the shower? Right? Like it's, I know that's a, terrible explanation because again sleepy but hopefully it gives some some idea of how I'm thinking about this kind of thing I'm probably going to call this one here because my thoughts are not as coherent as I wish they were 
but hopefully I've managed to express my thoughts in some sort of a, a way. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to go get on with my day. I have... I feel like I have a lot on my plate lately, so I'm going to try to tackle all of that. And I hope you have a beautiful day or afternoon or evening, wherever you might be. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.